Okay, let's get this worker started on the next cultivating. Um, after this, we only have two more to go, and then we're good on that. And I think, yeah, we brought the new Holland down here and hooked it up to the, the bale loader, but we're going to have to operate that. So, yeah, it's back to uh, baling. We'll get back at it here. All right, I think our cultivator dude is done, or just about done anyway. Oh, talk gunning, he's hitting more crops. <laughs> What's the matter with these guys? Oh man, okay. Well, we're docking that from his pay too and paying off the farmer for $100 of damage, we'll say. Okay, so that finishes this field here. Field 27. And we just have 2 and 23 left. So 23 is right up by our other hay fields up this way. So since we're not that far, I'm just going to drive it up there and get him started. Actually, I might, I might even just do do it myself because it's not a very big field. Nah, I'll have a worker do this. Oops. I wonder if he's going to have trouble at that end of the field. Well, I guess we'll find out. What is it? Control tab. There we go. All right, back to Balin. Okay, we're just doing some cleanup uh, work here now. Uh, oh, that's actually a strip of grass. I don't think there's really enough hay on the on the borders to warrant windrowing it and baling it. There's just not enough. I might do that if, after we clean up all this, we're really, really close to one more bale. Uh, so we're at 76% now. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, my cultivator, cultivating job is probably finished now too. So we should go check on that. In fact, let's do that right now. It's gotta be really close if not completely done. Um, yeah, he's pretty much finished here. Let's just do this last little bit. Okay. One more cultivating job to do. And then like, you know, like I said earlier, oh, hold on. There's a little bit over there we got to do. Um, I'm pretty darn sure those other two fields that we harvested, the wheat and the oats will come available to probably tomorrow for cultivating. So our final cultivation job, uh, let's turn this one in, is going to be on field two, which is way up in the north, uh, northeast, or no, northwest. So let's send the driver up there. And just have them get lined up, let's say, right here. You good to go, man? He's going to drive right across that field. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> I thought he was going to drive across the sunflowers. Look at those sunflowers, man. Those are awesome. Okay. And then when he's done, then we're pretty much finished with the AI. I don't think there's really anything else we're gonna, we need the AI for. 
uh, because we have to finish, you know, all the rest of the haying work I've got to do. And um, I was going to... Oh, I know what I was going to tell you guys. I got to thinking, you know, we've got... We still have access to that combine. And, and more importantly, the trailer, since we don't have our own trailers. So I think I'm going to use that to do our canola before I turn that question. We might as well. Um, oops. If I had my own trailer, I probably would just use my own combine. But since we don't and we have access to that equipment, we'll just n knock out our canola field with it. And it won't take long at all because, um, you know, it's such a small field and that's such a large header. So, yeah, we'll get that taken care of quickly. Anyway, let's go ahead and get uh, the last little bit of this stuff cleaned up. And then if, if we're getting close to another full bale, then maybe we will pull the stuff from the outskirts. There's just not really that much of it, though. But if it's enough to make another bale, it'll, it'll be worth it. Uh, I believe I have some more spots. Uh, looks like we have a spot over here. There's more on the on the right side of the field than there are on the left. I think there might be a couple spots up this way. Maybe? Yeah, maybe not. I mean, nothing significant, that's for sure. A little bit over here. Yeah, there's some over here, too. Okay, that puts us at 96%. Can I grab this? Yeah, it looks like we got it. Yeah, we're at 96%. Ah, man, I don't know, you guys. I just don't know if there's enough hay on the outskirts to finish out this bale. And I guess it sort of kind of doesn't matter because we're going to take this up to the north, two north fields. We have two more hay fields up there that we got to do also. There's a little dab right here, but I think it's right on the border of what it'll let me grab. Yeah. Can't quite get to that, okay. There's this little bit right here, but that, that's not even gonna be close to enough. I already tried to grab it, but I couldn't get to it. Looks like our guy's at the field. So yeah, I think we're done here uh, with the baling anyway. So let's pop out these bales. Uh, why? Or that bale. The other one is just still in progress. So, you know, we'll finish that out on the on the upper hay fields then. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to send the JCB up to the north fields with the worker. I've got the New Holland here with the pickup trailer. And I'll start picking up these bales and hauling them. At some point, we need to get the tether and the windrower back to our farm. But I'll probably do that at the very end because we need to wash them according to our role-playing agreement. Um, so let's get rid of the U. Let's go here. Go into the worker menu. And I want you to go to field 18 and get staged right there. That's a nice baler, man. Look at that ginormous thing. Okay, let's go get our cultivator guy started and this will be the last cultivation job for us right here you know what I'm just gonna knock this one out myself it's not big enough to warrant having an AI do it yeah so let's just get this done All 
right, cultivating's finished. Turn that in. And uh, we are good to go. So, let's see, what do we want to do with the Fent? I think we want to send the Fent back to our farm for now. And I might trade places with the Fent and the New Holland for the rest of the bale pickup work. Um, well, actually, if we're going to do that, uh, just so there's less wear and tear on our tractor. Yeah, maybe I'll just drive it over there and do that right now since I haven't even started the bale pickup. So I'll see you guys over at Field 71. Okay, we are here at 71. Um, take that off, take that off, take that. Uh, off. Wait, what? Why is that not disconnecting? Oh, I don't know. Thought I was pushing the right button, but maybe not. Okay, we're going to send the New Holland home and put the wear and tear on the borrowed tractor. I know that's a terrible thing, but it's also a smart thing, too. <laughs> Uh, so let's grab uh, you. You? No, not you. You. New Holland. Can't quite get to it. There we go. Great job. Go to and just go home and stage right here for now. Okay. We use the fence to do all the picking up, picking up here. I'm not a, I'm not a wealthy farmer yet, so I gotta take every advantage I can get. That's how I justify it. <laughs> okay. Hey, the townsfolk didn't say, specify how I use their equipment. All they said is if I'm going to use it for other jobs, other than their field, I have to clean them up and fuel them up. That's that's all it is. That's the deal. So we're not breaking any agreements. All right, let's get some bales picked up. I believe we're taking all this stuff to Johnson's. Or no, sorry, not Johnson's uh, animal animal dealer. Oh, we're full. That's probably why I can't pick that up. All right, let's double check. Um, well, yeah, this is field 71 and yeah, animal dealer. In fact, I think, oh, okay. Silage bales are gonna go. Okay, so it looks like all the silage bales will go to the biogas plant and all the hay bales will go to animal dealer. Excuse me, that finished field 13 for us. We'll probably, my guess is we'll probably finish uh, 16. Is that the other one, I think? Before we actually completely clear 71, but we'll see.
84% transporter for field 71. Now I wonder how those signs got there. Who would have done such a thing? It's kids these days, man, I'll tell you what. All right, so 71 is finished, um, and 17 is finished. So all the rest of the square bale hay, <clears throat> excuse me, that we bale is ours. I'm thinking about hanging on to that this time. Uh, what is the selling price, or the season, or the best month to sell hay? It is January. Okay. So we might... Um, I could put it in the last bay, the, the, the rightmost bay of the shed. We park our baler in there, but the baler doesn't, you know, take up the entire space. And maybe just hang on to it. I'm, it's not likely that we're going to be able to purchase cattle um, in this year. But... You know, that's the other thing we could do is just hang on to it until the time comes that we do purchase cattle. Uh, and then we have that, you know, to feed them. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to decide how I want to handle that, I suppose. But we, uh, no, we still have a few more bills left on 71. So let's go grab those, and then we're going to drive up to the north fields and finish the hay up there and then we have to do the silage which i'm going to use my own uh, baler and trailer and stuff for now i've heard that if you if you wait a little longer on harvesting a crop when it becomes available to harvest you get a little more yield from it i don't know if that's actually true or not um but you know we need to weigh that against the benefit i guess of using that combine while we have access to it as opposed to our own and really the only the only thing that would matter there is you know wear and tear on our own combine and header and then having to repair it later otherwise it's almost well no that's not true because we also have the trailer too access to the trailer and we'll lose that once we turn it in so then i'd have to lease a trailer so I think based upon that, it makes sense for us to use their equipment for our canola since we have access to it. In the long run, it might not make that much difference either way, but let's just do it since we have it. So, so yeah, all of these bales are ours, and anything we pull off the two north fields will be ours too. So I think, I think we're going to hang on to them. And um, we'll either sell them in January. And remember, we're going to have a... Let's see, what's it, July? We're going to have at least one more hay cutting, maybe even two more, before, you know, January anyway. And then we can decide at that point if we decide to sell it or if we want to just hang on to it until the time comes that we get cows. So I think that's what we'll do. All right, I believe that finishes 71. Uh, I don't see any more bales. We do have the windrower and the tether that we'll have to pick up at some point, but I'll probably do that at the very end. We don't need either one of those tools up in the north fields. So, yeah, let's go ahead and drive this on up to the northeast fields and get those knocked out. Oh, doggone it, I forgot we had to windrow these, or had to windrow these two fields. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead then and park the pickup trailer right over here for now. And I guess I'm going to have to go back and get the windrower. Um, or I could send a worker to do that while I start bailing. Yeah, maybe I'll do it that way. So let's drop this off here.
and we will go here and here here go to go back to field 71 or 70 rather uh no 71 yeah and the windrow is parked around there somewhere so just uh stage yourself there and then when you get there i'll come and do the rest okay that's well no i can't start i can't get start a bailey until he does it. All right. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. We are going to get out of these guys' way. We got, we're got. we going to go get the windrower uh, while he gets the tether, or yeah, vice versa, on this tractor. So I think I'm going to actually just put the baler over here for now so it's out of the way we're going to use our own baler for this hay because we got to do silage on that all right back to field 70 one okay let's go ahead and roll this thing out I don't think it'll hit the tree. Yeah, it might. Let's go forward a little more. I passed the the AI. Is that going to hit that tree branch? Yeah, it is. Okay. On the way there, so he's probably just about ready. Um, so let's hop back over there. Yeah. We'll have him bring the wind rower up while we get started on the tedding. All right, let's go get him started wind rowing while we finish the tedding. I don't know why it missed these little spots, but I think the wind rower, wind rower will just combine them all into to hay anyways. Seems a little weird that it missed all that, though. Okay, actually, I guess we have three more fields that need hay. Hmm, does that mean we've not finished all the contracts? I we'll have to look at that. I thought we only had two up here, but I guess we have three. You know what I wish the game had? So I wished it showed um the other farmers you know the ones that we do the contracts for and stuff doing some of the work too so we saw other farm machinery at work in the game i think that would really be cool i'd rather see that going on than just all the cars and people walking around you know maybe future versions of the game will have that Okay, that takes care of all the tedding. I want to look at something here. If we go to the contracts. Yeah, these are all the silage contracts. So we've completed all of the hay contracts. I don't want to turn them in yet, though, of course, because we've got to finish processing all the hay. Just wanted to confirm that is all. 
Okay, so we are done with this tether. I guess I might as well take it back while he's continuing to work on the windrowing. Um, but actually, if we're going to do that, um, yeah, yeah, let's, let's take it back. All right, so he thinks he's done, but he's not. <laughs> so we're going to uh, let him go and finish this ourselves. So let's go ahead and disconnect this. And we'll put this tractor back on the pickup. Actually, I should send, nah, no. Yeah, we'll put you on the pickup for now. So scratch that. Scratch that thought that I never actually shared with you guys. Okay, we're finished with the wind rower and the tether. So I think I'm just gonna drive this back to the farm. So we gotta get back there to clean it. And then come back here and get started on the baling. While <clears throat> I'm back there, I'm gonna also grab my baler uh, so we can do the silage as well. So I'll see you guys back here. All right, since we already have our baler hooked up, we might as well knock out the silage bales first. So let's get that out of the way and then we'll switch back over to the square bales. Oh yeah, and this thing's ready to pop out another bale too, so more for us. We do have to unfortunately stop with this one though. Okay, that does it for the round bales. Um, I guess it makes sense for me just to take this, take our baler back home and then come back and jump on the square baler and finish things up. So that's what we're gonna do. And I can bring the uh, round baler uh, loader, loading trailer back here too at the same time. All right, let's just see if we can get all of this in one load. I don't know if we'll be able to or not. If we can, then will be great and all of this is going to go to the bio gas plant I don't think anything rolled down there tried to prevent that from happening as best as I could
All right, that takes care of all the silage bales. Let's just go drop them off and get this done with, and then we'll come back and finish up our hay bales. Okay, let's offload these. Um, if I can stop it before it offloads all of them, I'd like to keep the other ones, but I don't know. We'll see what happens here. I need 18 to finish. Nope. Yeah, I couldn't stop them. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, I'm sorry, not 18. Well, we made $8,000, uh, almost $9,000 off of it, though, so it wasn't... Wasn't a loss for, by any means. Okay, I'm gonna take the round bale pickup trailer back to the base, or to the base, to the farm, <laughs> and park it. And then we'll go finish up our square bales. And that should wrap up our contracts. Uh, we do, uh, but again, like I mentioned earlier, I am gonna use the combine that we currently have borrowed to do our own canola too. And I'm gonna use the mower that we currently have on loan to mow our field before I completely turn everything in. All right, let's get our square baling going. All right, guys, let's pick up the rest of these bales. Bales, I would like to point out, that belong to us. And uh, we'll probably have more than a full load here, too. So that's even cooler. Uh, we'll get the ones on the smaller fields first, and then we'll get the ones on field 18. Um, I also have a bit of a thing with the square baler that you know we're borrowing it's at 90 percent and i couldn't pull enough hay off these fields to, to get a full another full bale so i think what i'm gonna do with that situation is try and mow some of our meadow grass on our own property just enough to fill it up so we get one more bale out of it uh, but it's going to be a bit of a guess because I have to, you know, I have to cut the hay and then I have to ted some of it and then windrow it to figure out how much is going to be enough. So we'll have to, we'll have to just make an educated guess on that and then, you know, hopefully it'll be close enough to get the job done. But any hoozle, uh, yeah, we are definitely going to get more than one full stack of hay uh, out of this field because you know, we're already at 78%. And so I'm going to pick all of this up and take it back to our farm. And the plan for this is going to be to stick it inside of our shed in the rightmost bay and stack it in there. And we're going to keep it in there until either January, which is the best time to sell it, or we might keep it in there indefinitely. And well, not indefinitely, but until we get cattle and then we'll have some hay to feed the cattle with. And we won't have to, you know, worry about feeding the, the cattle for a bit. So that's probably what we'll do with it. But we'll see. It depends. You know, if something, if there's something that comes on sale, for example, that we really, oh, we're done here, that we really, really want, right, um, and we need the money, then we would maybe sell the hay at that point. But let's take this back to the farm, and then we'll come back and get the rest of this. And then we're finished with the haying contracts. Uh, but we have to work on our own property. We have more work to do on our own property yet. This has been one busy day, man. It is 2.30 uh, in the afternoon. We have just been going. It's great, though. It's great. 